start as my base, I'm going to use this cream shadow by Motives called Butterscotch and I'm just going to apply that very lightly with a flat brush over my eyelid um, because I think the shadows that I'm going to use are very pigmented and I don't want that of much of an, an intense look. And then I'm going to take this new Dose of Colors Hidden Treasures palette um, that I'm completely in love with. If you can get it, I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to take this first color as my transition color, the color Locket, and I'm going to use my E40 blending brush by Sigma, and I'm just going to apply that just in the crease in circular motions. Then I'm going to take the color Key, and with another Sigma E40 blending brush, a clean one, I'm just going to run that in my outer corner and just kind of blend that out. I'm not going too high up, I'm just kind of keeping it in that lower outer corner. I'm just going to blend it very lightly because it's not going to do much, it's just going to give me a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to take this gold color and I'm going to mix it with this gemstone color because like I said, I don't want that much of an intense like foil gold look. I just want a light shimmer. And I'm just going to lightly pat that on the eyelid. I'm doing it very lightly because these colors are super pigmented. Next, I'm going to take Tarte's Inner Rim Brightener um, for my waterline. And this is really the only one that kind of brightens my waterline and stays. Then I'm just going to pack the color pearl on my inner corner tear duct. I'm going to take a brown gel liner and I'm going to line my lash line very closely. It's not really going to do much. Then I'm also going to tight line the inside as well. And then I'm going to take a angled brush and kind of run some of that dark brown, I think it's called key, shadow and just kind of smoke out or blend out that brown liner. Again, it's not really going to do much. It's just going to give it a little bit of dimension. So it's kind of optional. And then I'm going to take that same brown um, eyeshadow and just run that along the outer um, end of my eye. And then I'm going to blend that out with the same um, locket shade I used in the beginning with a Sigma E35 blending brush. Because I don't want my lower lashes to be too dramatic, I'm going to use the Benefit Primer. And it's like a brown. I really, really like this as a mascara just to wear alone. For the rest of my face, um, I kind of just want like a soft look, so I'm going to take this Motives Miami Glow Bronzer and just with the Sigma powder brush and just kind of put that all over my face, basically on my cheekbones and my forehead. And I'm just going to give my cheekbones a little extra contour and I'm going to use this Tarte Contour Palette with this Japanese brush. Um, for highlighter, I'm going to take the So Hollywood highlighter by Anastasia and just kind of highlight my whole entire face. <laughs> um, I'm using this one because it's got more of a gold tone to it. And then for blush, I'm going to apply the Stigma Core de Rosa, I think it's called blush. This is one of my favorites and um, I'm going to use a Sigma blush brush. And these blushes are really pigmented so I'm just doing it very lightly. I had no idea what lip I wanted so I kind of skipped to hair. And I'm basically just going to, I'm using this T3, I think it's just a T3 um, curling iron I think. Um, it has interchangeable barrels that you can put on. I'm using, I think this is the 1.5 inch with the, the actual like clip handle, which I like. It's not just like the, the regular wands. I'm just basically curling my hair um, outward with every section that I do. I just kind of section it off in three different sections on each side and then just curl them outward. I really like this curling iron. I'm kind of tired of the curling wands. I just recently, I'm just kind of tired of them. Um, it's nice to have the actual clip like the old school ones. It heats up really fast and it's really smooth, so I really like this one. And then I just kind of comb through my hair with my fingers and then just give it a spray with hairspray and then that's it. So for lips, I used the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil and then I went over that with the Black Moon Cosmetics Lipstick in Libra. And then I used Dose of Color Sand in the center just to brighten it up a little bit. And then I used Makeup Forever's Lip Gloss in 100P. I wanted the lip to be a little bit brighter, but I was limited on what I had with me at the time. So yeah, that's it. 